I was about to step out so that this video we can make as we are walking and I get to share my biggest secret because I have stopped gatekeeping. So on that stage we'll be trying to have conversation. No, no promises. Hey, let me say that also. No promises. We'll be trying to have conversations in relation to travel because it's something that does ignite my soul. And I'm happy to see more people experiencing travel and uh, this video is greatly inspired by the many emails that I get, people consulting me about uh, either me to share with them my contacts about visiting different places or me to share uh, how I was able to go to a specific place, how to find apartments in specific locations, how to you know move to a country and majority of this was based is mostly based in ethiopia and i get why it could be so <sighs> i get why it could be so because i lived in ethiopia for two years you know and therefore and my content of ethiopia you guys are always wanting to get more information so in the same context i decided you know what let me share with you guys about this this hack that has helped me in my travel world, be it Ethiopia, be it other countries, and uh, you are going to enjoy it. So now you cannot, you cannot go for a walk because uh, the place that I'm going, because it's not just a walk, the place that I'm going, I was, I'm also going to be doing like some shopping. And once they see me with like this phone, because one, I'm gonna be risking carrying this, whatever I'm shooting with, and two, uh, once they see me well dressed i need to dress down <laughs> it's, it's sad it's the state i need to dress down uh but yeah and so i don't want you to just admire me as i'm watching as you're watching this video i don't know if that's even right to say but we are here anyway and at this point i'm talking a lot let's get into this one hack that saved me millions while i was living in ethiopia and even while i moved in ethiopia so this video is inspired by this email. Hi, happy birthday to the precious queen. You look beautiful, super amazing. You're the queen among queens. Kindly. Oh, I'm sorry because I'm reading your email. I won't disclose your complete details. But kindly, I will need your assistance or support. I would like to travel to Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. I'm, an, I'm a Nigerian. I'll be grateful if you assist me, blah, blah, blah. Then they continue and stuff like this. So on the same note, I was like, you know what? Let's, let's share this tip to everybody so you guys can know. Yeah. So the number one thing, this is the story of my life. When I moved to Ethiopia, um, I was told to pay a specific amount of money for my rent. The place that I was staying, uh, let's say it was 100%. That's 100% is the rent of the apartment. I don't want to give you the numbers lest I give you the direction and then you're not given the same deal as I was given. So, and this actually, let me say this, this has nothing to, okay, maybe like a 5% contribution on me being a content creator. So this is something that can help, can work for so many people. But would you believe me that I was paying 20% of this apartment? Yeah, yeah. But anyway, I'm only saying this as evidence. Those people will be like, this is cap and stuff like this. So my number one hack has to be connect with locals. Uh, and I know I'm saying this as getting away business from myself. This is just a hack that has helped me because I could easily have come here and be like, yeah, you know, I can be that person for you. But I, I, I'm not, I'm not a local. A, a local will help you way more than a foreigner will help you in that country. But there's definitely a place for a foreigner because there's foreigner things that people can understand. And what I wanted to share in this video is five places that you can actually meet with locals as you are visiting and touring different places, which is something that I found very helpful in my work. We said uh, this year, no gatekeeping. We all succeed. Okay. So number one has to be, if you have social media, that is your biggest, biggest, biggest asset. So post on social media, even if you have your 200 people, one of those people is going to know someone and that person is going to connect you to someone. Basically, I was able to get this offer because I was staying with a local that I had found and they showed me a way in which I would get the accommodation and therefore we agreed on something. I just don't want to disclose my whole explanation of what was going on. But if, if I hadn't met this local, be sure I'd be paying 100% of 
the rent to give you an estimate it's something like four hundred dollars to like six hundred dollars is what i was expected to pay but if you do your maths go back 20 percent that's the amount of money i was paying okay so if you have social media just uh if you have social media that is your place post on your stories post on your posts if you don't have if you've already done that the other place that you can do is a search on your tab you'll be able to see who are the latest people if you search there's a place that shows places so then you look for the location let's say for the for example we're looking at Addis Ababa. you'll be able to see the people that are recently in Addis Ababa. then be confident and reach out in the dm and if they're willing they will reach out to you number two now that is more like gambling let's say number two is websites so um like the next list is of websites that you can check and connect with people if anyone is looking to travel this is actually million dollar kind of worth of content if anyone is looking to travel this is content that you will thank me for the same way i thank someone one day i was watching a beauty video and finally i was able to see all the disclosure okay so now let's talk about the sites that you can use if at all the social media route is not somewhere you're going to be using and you know another hack it could be even like for example me coming on social media and being like hey guys we're going to south africa anyone in south africa hey hey can you help me on this and that yeah stuff like this and also can we also talk about offering value what is the other value that you're offering this local there's no way you expect someone to show you the whole city and you don't even buy them a cup of tea like on the minimum or a cup of coffee something you also have to give something of value or be like you're giving your experience you know like maybe your skills it can be something just just be more creative anyway oof, let's go to the sites before i talk for 10 hours <coughs> first site meet up this is a site that is perfect for everyone who is maybe a loner. You could be a local in your own country and you're like, hey, I want to meet some new, some more people. Or you could be traveling to a certain place. Just search meetups.com and you'll be able to see all activities that are happening within your city in different places. And in the process, you can meet up with locals and in the process, you'll be able to connect with locals and they'll show you tips and hacks you might not get the same discount as i got and i'll tell you the find the, the site that i met i'll tell you the specific site that i met my host not host my landlord in and it, by by the end of this video so keep on watching but the concept is meeting up with people they would give you hacks or tips for example if you come to my country right now i can tell you where you can get more affordable things than the places that you would basically have found alone so this is why i'm sharing mostly about where you can get to meet people be it you're traveling to a place for investment business or even for tourism yes number two bumble bf yeah 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 i know this is a dating application you would be like yeah but i'm already married yes it's true i don't want you risking your relationship or stuff like this but there's a bumble bf that bb bff which shows uh it's for friends depending on your boundaries and things like this i'm just putting this out you go do depending on how much how far you can go with this yeah but you'll definitely find people that you can interact with and uh, you can just hang out you can get to connect with them and they can show you how to maneuver through a country you know like the support and the assistance that you need within a country and let's not downplay how much it is required of someone for them to move to a new country so therefore these people can be of great help a lot like a lot of help and i've seen it for myself as i've also had to help other people because they say you give and you will receive so i've also had to help other people that are moving into my country number three has to be expert groups on facebook mostly on facebook i would say you'll be able to find groups that have been created for people that are moving to specific different countries let me use ethiopia as an example for this one yeah in ethiopia there's a facebook group that is for experts and in this group people even sell things people sell those experts that had already purchased things and they are leaving you'll be able to find good deals you can connect with other locals you can ask questions within the group if you need any form of support or assistance anything you know you'll be able to find there and the plane decided it's time we catch it and head to another country africa is famously known for having very friendly 
people. It is one of the continents that should actually be easy in terms of visiting, in terms of people connecting and conversing with people, uh, getting to know one or two, three things from someone. I have to throw in this here as a bonus. If you want to gain free information for about a country, just go and stay in a hostel. I know I've given like, in a hostel, they can offer you any information that you would want, be it any government office that you want to visit in terms of their location, their opening, or even knowing how a country operates. So that is definitely there somewhere. But the last one, which is where I gladly, happily found the person that, uh, you know, <clears throat> made my Ethiopia stay very easy, uh, is has to be I met them on a site called Code Surfing and at this point I feel like I'm an advocate of Code Surfing which is actually a very good site and the thing that I like about it is you don't have to be hosted you can go on events you can go on hangouts and there you can connect with people and be acquaintances when you acquaint yourself more like look at this conversation as a networking conversation and just improve your skills on how to talk to people and in the process you get all the assistance that you need <laughs> yeah so i'm answer, i'm putting this out there so that anyone uh before you reach out i can be able to send this video to you and you'll be able to know that you can find other avenues that are easier to access and of, of more resources uh, than you reaching out directly but don't be discouraged from reaching out directly because I have put together a contact list as well that if you come to me I can give it to you and you can be able to connect with people from different places in the, the world let's say mostly in Africa because that's like my focus in places that I want to explore and I want to see and I want to live in yeah so I'll be very happy to share with you well, and may you go on that experience. Let me tell you, if there's something I'm forever, forever grateful is the ability to connect with locals. This is a blessing that I've also been given. So just work on those skills as well as you continue on with your day. And I feel like today I have given you a tip here and there. There's definitely something you didn't know in all of this list, right? Yeah, you're welcome. Thank me later. Anyway, let me rush out and go get myself a dress. Maybe I'll do like a haul in my next video or maybe I, I don't know uh, ah, ah, no, This is me getting you into my business. Let's just stick to traveling. If you've not subscribed to this channel Subscribe to this channel and I will see you on the next one. Always always remember to great time for that to check nights. So until next time. Bye for now